everyone, welcome to Friday Faves and today is the day I get to talk about all the books that I posted this week and tell you the favorite thing that I loved about each book. Um, and this week's book was really hard to pick one thing so we'll see how it goes because I probably will tell you more than one thing about each one of them because they were so good. Uh, we started off the week Monday, the recipe box, Viola Shipman aka Wade Rouse and um, I loved so many things about this book and the interview was so good. I'm going to post the interview right up here in case you didn't get to watch it. But my favorite thing, and I'm trying to read this from here so I don't look down, okay? Uh, my favorite thing was the quote, okay? And it's right in the beginning of the book and it says, put in the extra effort in life and baking. The end result is always worth it. And that is a direct quote from his grandmother, Viola Shipman. And that's why Wade calls his books under her name because that was his grandmother and she inspired him to write these books. And um, he's so cool. It was so fun. And the book is really, really good. And so is the cover, which you're looking at right here. So anyway, Tuesday, hurricane season, Lauren Denton, I went after her. When I saw this book, I was like, because I read her first book and I was like, yes, I want to read hurricane season. So I kind of reached out to her and she said, sure. So um, anyway, I loved the ending. And first of all, you're looking at the cover right here. Okay, that cover is so amazing. All right, I didn't even pick a cover of the week because all of these covers are so good. But I'm also posting the interview with Lauren. She is so sweet. I love her so much. And this book is so good. After all the thrillers that I've been reading lately, it was so awesome to just read her book and not be scared. <laughs> not scared of my neighbors and you know anybody else around me. Um, so I love the ending and this is not a spoiler because I don't do spoilers, but she ends the book with hope shining like a beacon in the dark places. When you read the book, you'll understand why that's so awesome. But when I got done with the book, I was just like, oh, that just wrapped up her book perfectly. So anyway, then Wednesday, The Room on Rue Amelie. Okay, this book just came out. Hurricane Season came out on Tuesday. The Room came out the week before. Um, Kristen Harmel, she was so sweet too. We had so much fun. Um, in case you didn't get to watch the video, it is right there. Um, what I loved was the main character, Ruby. I got so attached to her. I couldn't, after I got done reading the book, I didn't want to read another book. I like took a couple hours <laughs> off. Usually I read one back to back to back, but I was like, I'm just going to take a moment, stay with Ruby a little bit. It was so good. I picked a quote out though. I mean, Ruby was my favorite character, I would say. But um, then there was this quote. That's one thing faith is especially good for, giving us strength in time of crises. And, you know, this book took place in, in World War II. And it just, I love that quote. It kind of summed up the whole book. Um, and then last, on Thursday, Miss D and me, Catherine Cermak, um, First of all, the book is about Betty Davis. She was Betty Davis's personal assistant for the last 10 years of Betty Davis's life. And the book is so good. Even if you don't know who Betty Davis is, I mean, I had very little knowledge. I didn't see any of her movies. Um, I went back and then watched some and watched a documentary on her. But, um, you know, it seems like it's so removed from us. But I mean, she was huge huge. She had so much to do with what you want to call now the women's movement in Hollywood. I mean, if they only, if everyone in Hollywood understood what Betty Davis did for them. Uh, anyway, read the book. It's great. So my favorite thing about this book was the topic, but I'm going to give you a Betty Davis quote anyway. Don't be afraid to face your fears. They won't go away until you do. And she had to face a lot of fears. So that's what I loved about it so much. Anyway, sorry, my phone just went off, but anyway, um, I didn't shut it off before I started, but I'm not going to redo this because I just had so much fun doing the video. So anyway, thank you guys for watching Friday Faves. If you liked watching it, please hit like. If you like to get updates on all my videos, please hit subscribe. And tomorrow, Saturday Summaries, and I'll go into each one of these a little bit more. Thanks.